Well, good evening, gardening and holiday friends, I guess I'm saying now. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little update on the manger scene here in the front yard. And I wanted to show you what I'm using or what I'm doing to decorate um, this. This is all free stuff from the yard. So I am foraging greens for this uh, roof of the manger. I do this every year. It is one of my favorite things to do this time of the year in the fall is go around and you know cut stuff off of trees shrubs um anyway i really enjoy it so i just thought i would share with you what i'm doing um these things here are just things that i got from party city actually for halloween and uh, they were a lot greener before but um uh, anyway i just I'm not sure what they they're called but i've got three of them and that's what i um am using to cover up the roof or i guess facade whatever you want to call it um for this manger now this is um you guys might know what this is it is pieces to a um a dog pen um that we had and um each panel can come apart and you can shape it into different uh, shapes and whatever so I actually took it in three parts and made made a um, triangle shape with it and then the third part I just put across here so that was a quick quick easy way to uh, give me a little roof here on this manger and of course the manger itself is made out of pallets which I just reused from Halloween. Uh, so yeah, big palette on the bottom, big palette in the back, and then on the sides and the front are just the smaller standard, um, standard palettes. So anyway, back to the foraging part. Uh, these are the um, spirea shrubs that have turned their um, reddish color for the fall and then I'm also using some green these were the um, gold flame I think is what these are called uh, spirea gold flame I also got some pieces of the burgundy barberry in here and uh, some dried hydrangea blooms so anyway that is what I am doing with this manger to cover up the uh, plastic dog pin parts anyway I'm um, also had to use um, a little ladder thing there and a pole to hold that up because a few days ago we had some wind and rain and the roof completely collapsed so anyway that's just part of it of course we have straw down here for Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and this is the centerpiece of our Christmas display because that is the reason for the season. I'm also using, I'm not sure what this shrub or whatever it is called, um, it's actually on our fence line, but um, I thought it looked kind of Christmassy. So anyway, I've cut pieces of that and I will also be putting it in here too um the holes on this dog pin are nice for um what i'm doing so i just stick that down in there and it kind of holds it so anyway i have been doing this little manger scene for four years now so anyway just a little fun thing i thought i would show you guys real quick um, a little update on the Christmas manger. Uh, I'm going to finish this up. So anyway, I love doing free stuff like this. I, I love foraging, like I said, for greens and Christmas um, live natural Christmas decor, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm really into that. Um, but anyway, that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of my Christmas light display and front yard gardening, um, Halloween 
um, seed starting, all that good stuff, home decor, please uh, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Now I'm going to get back inside and work on some indoor Christmas decor because it is freezing out here. <laughs> but luckily I got the bulk of all this up when it was in the 60s, so... I'll be smiling at my neighbors out here in mid-December, freezing, putting their lights up. But anyway, we like to enjoy the lights and the Christmas decor a little bit longer, probably, than most folks. So anyway, you guys take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.